back with another hair color video this is my hair right now it's quite plain and i haven't cut my hair in a long time so it's very dry on the ends as you can see oh my god <laughs> I'm going to be coloring my hair and I'm going to be giving myself a haircut slash hair trim. So fingers crossed for a nice hair transformation. So let's go. This is the bleach that I got and this is the final color that I'm hoping for. It's not going to be my whole hair that's going to be this color maybe someday but today it's just going to be a few streaks here and there. I'm starting off by removing any hair tangles and brushing it through. Next I'm going to be sectioning my hair. So. I'm going to be doing the bottom half of my hair and tying up the rest of it. So this took a while uh, because there was no one else to help me at home. So I had to kind of record myself from behind, see how the divisions are, if they are equal and, you know, uniform, keep removing it, changing it up and just doing the best that I can. But um, this is what I came up with in the end and it was quite close to an equal parting and I was quite happy with it. All the packages are labeled so I had to mix in number 2 into number 1 uh, which is the powder into the liquid and also number 3 into the same mixture and then mix it all up. Once that's done I went ahead and put it all over my hair in sections. Um, the smaller the sections you take the better. You want to make sure the bleach saturates each and every strand so if you take smaller strands it's just going to be easier and you don't miss any strands like that. I did my own research on YouTube like you should. Definitely watch several videos if you're doing this on your own because bleach is not color. It's basically stripping your hair off its color. Once your hair is bleached it's bleached. Um, so you definitely want to do this really carefully and you can also burn your hair just as a side note if you don't take care of the time and all of that. And what I found out is that my head has natural heat from the scalp which is why it develops faster. So I'm going to be putting it on my strands first, the length of my hair first. And then on the 20 minute mark I decided to put it on my scalp, closer to my scalp area as well. And you got to be a little fast with this because you want all the strands to saturate at the same time. I left this on for about an hour um, and I realized halfway through that I put the bleach a little too late on um, closer to my scalp. But it wasn't bad the result. Also I didn't take it as close as I should have. I should have taken it like an inch higher so that there was only an inch left from my scalp. Anyway washed it out, used the conditioner that they gave which was like a purple conditioner and this is how it turned out. There was some breakage I can see over here and also it was really really uneven on top because like I said I should have taken it higher. Wasn't too too excited about it but yeah that's I mean that's box dye for you. Over here I was really wishing I had another bleach box. Also you want to have enough time to do this on separate days for less damage. Oh my god, I totally forgot that this comes with bleach. So I actually already have a second time, like a second chance to bleach. I need to fix whatever's going on over here and not keep it for very long, but just like fix it. Oh my god, but I don't know if I should do it all in one day. So that's my question. Okay, we're doing this. We are doing this. This bleach was really, really messy and really strong way stronger than the one before skills are required so if you're, if you're using this don't open the whole thing just open like a corner of it my hair is already sectioned so i'm just going to do this in one day because yeah ain't nobody got time for that they've said not to keep this in the bottle for more than two minutes shut because the bottle might explode due to pressure side note Ooh, this is strong Wow, this, I can't even open my eyes, it's so strong. It was so strong that my eyes were watering and I couldn't even keep them open, barely. Also, this bleach was so strong that if it got on my skin, it would be so, so itchy. This time, what I did was I put the bleach exactly where I should have the first time, leaving less space on my scalp. And instead of waiting too long, after I put everything on the length of my hair, I waited for like maybe 10 minutes or 15. And then I put it on my scalp uh, area as well, next to my scalp. 
and washed it off after like 45 minutes i believe washed it this was amazing it was all even even though it wasn't very light i was expecting it to be lighter two bleaches in one day i think my hair has had enough and i'll give it a break it was light enough for the pink to really be bright and that's all that matters so finally i washed it off with shampoo and i dried it used the conditioner on my face because the color is set to be really really strong and uh it can stain everything around you which is so true you can use the color directly from the bottle this stained my neck forehead face fingers for about 3 days and it was really really bright so that's something to keep in mind make sure you like lather on the vaseline and just kind of let the inevitable happen because this is really strong and potent after about an hour i washed my hair simply with shampoo till the water was running almost clear i just styled it and this is the final look and when i got out of the shower i cut my hair i'll leave the link to the video that i saw while cutting my hair i couldn't record that cuz it was really late at night i hope you guys enjoyed mm -hmm.